So, a lot of you had reached out to me and you'd asked me to look at this case. And this is the case of 12-year-old Sean Doughty. Now, oh my God. Now, I've got some notes here because this case is... This case is insane. For those of you who know about this case, you'll understand fully where I'm coming from. And for those of you who have never heard about this case, and this is the first time that you're hearing about it, strap yourselves in, because this is one of the worst cases I've seen in terms of law enforcement completely, completely fucking things up. Now look, this is a 12-year-old boy. This is a 12-year-old boy and a little bit of background, if you like. This was a 12-year-old boy who, he enjoyed life. You know, he was a fun-loving, bubbling boy with aspirations of presidential grandeur. Do you know what I mean? He wanted to become president. He was the sort of boy who would go out and he would spend his own money on books. That's right. Not toys. Books. And, you know, he did, he just had a lust for life and learning. So, <sighs> we'll leave that there for now. We'll, we'll stick a pin in it. But what happened was, now we're saying that this boy, on the 13th of April 2022, he would, according to law enforcement, and that's important to understand, according to law enforcement, he would take his own life. So, look, why would, first of all, you've got to think, why would this boy, who's a fun-loving boy, lust for life, the kind of boy who would go out and he'd only recently spent a hundred bucks on his own books, why would he all of a sudden take his own life? And look, it's not out of the ordinary, you know, so let's, all the naysayers, let's just say that it's not out of the ordinary for people to behave normally and to take their own life i've seen it myself my my mum she took her own life and even though there was a lot of stuff in the background um yeah you you would oh what can i say i think deep down we knew that it was always a possibility so it's a different kind of scenario but at the point with which she did it it did kind of come out of the blue so these things can happen also a family friend her husband, he took his own life, and that was, and still is, um, one of these things that was completely out of the blue. There was literally nothing, no indicators whatsoever. There was no financial issues, no nothing. And I also had another friend, he took his own life, um, even though a decade previously his younger brother was killed in a car accident, tragically. But when my friend took his own life here... He was, he'd been out on a night out. He'd been absolutely fine. And he actually, at the end of that night, he walked approximately five miles to a wooded area. And that's where he took his own life. And again, completely out of the blue. But you would then learn things about him. Obviously, he hadn't handled the death of his brother very well. So there you go, guys. It can happen. But in this situation, we're talking about a 12-year-old boy. There's no sort of... No precursors to what you would think would lead to it. Um, but here, here we go. This is where the stuff gets really, really bad. So he's obviously got... Four, there's four. There's four children in total. There's a mum and there's a stepdad. And I know what you're all thinking. Stepdad did it. Look, stepdad, he was, he was out of the area. He, he was gone. He was in Williamsboro at the time with one of the other siblings. So it's not the stepfather and the mum she was out at the time taking grandma to an appointment so sean was actually at home with his younger sibling it wasn't pre-arranged he'd been at so this isn't something that could have been premeditated in terms of he knew that he was going to have some time on his own and he'd he'd pre-planned it so, yeah, he gets home from school. He's told that he's got to sit with his brother, but it's something that he's excited about. He loves sitting with his little brother and so on and so forth. So what happens on the actual day is the sister comes home. She can't get in the house. She calls the mum and says, look, I can't get in. Sean's not letting me in. Um, and mum turns around and says, look, he's probably playing upstairs. He's probably playing with his brother. Go around the back, see if you can get in the back. Sister proceeds to go into the back garden and that's where she finds her brother. Now, he is found 
hanging from the family swing set. And so picture this. So where, where are we so far? So this has been ruled, remember, as suicide. So that's self-inflicted, okay? And at this point, you probably think, well, that could happen. Obviously, we've heard of it. We've heard of children who do do this sad and tragic, and it happens. But does it happen in this manner? So he is suspended with a shoelace from the swing set. He's got a bag over his head that later um, turns out to be the stepdad, like an old motorcycle helmet. So he's got this over his head. He's then got a belt that's wrapped around his torso that's pinning his arms to his side. Self-inflicted, ruled a suicide by the sheriff's office, but that's the picture that we've got. Not only that, but he is dressed in his stepfather's clothing and his prescription glasses are strewn on the floor with a lens missing. Okay, so how... How could this be self-inflicted? How could it? How? How? How is this boy doing it? But even if you go to look, he he somehow did it. Say he he this twelve-year-old boy with a passion for life, with aspirations of becoming president one day. He would buy his own books. He'd recently spent a hundred bucks on a book. Say he decided to do it, and he managed to do it in this manner. And is is that is that even possible? Is it even possible? I don't fucking think so. But so you think to yourself, okay, he's done it. But then you go back to the house and you think, so what's going on in the house at this time? Now it would appear that the boy's clothes was found in the house. So Sean's underpants were found in the what I believe the parents' bedroom. So they're found on the floor, and they have subsequently vanished off the face of the planet. There's been no mention of any forensic evidence or anything. This is just something that they were they found them, and that was the last they heard of them. They've handed them into law enforcement, obviously. They've been collected, and, and that's it. We've heard nothing. But his underpants were found upstairs in the parents' bedroom, and the drawers were strewn open, and everything. And that's the scene that you get. Obviously, at the time he was babysitting his younger brother... Now, when mum gets home, younger brother is found groggy, not himself, as if almost as if he's been knocked out with something and been partially buried under a pile of clothing. All they could see at the time is his legs hanging out from underneath. So you're with me so far. So this suicide, that's what we've got so far. Now... The plot thickens because it would also appear that before this happened, so in this hour of time, Sean would do his homework, all while thinking that he was going to take his own life and never hand it in. He also prepared a lunch, but he didn't eat it either. That was just left on the side. So we're getting a picture here, aren't we? So what are you thinking so far? Now again, if you've not heard of this case... Um, I'm sure you're shocked. You know, I look at it and I just think this is this is absolute insane. I, j I just can't I just can't get it. Now, the medical examiner had said that there was no history of kind of mental illness, no depression, no anxiety issues, anything like that. Although that was contradicted by the sheriff's office, stating that bullying could have been a precursor because he was being bullied. Where the family then argues that and says, "Oh, hold on." There was only one kind of minor incident that happened four months previously, and Sean himself didn't even seem that bothered. It was more the fact that the parents had pointed it out that it wasn't right, and they wanted something done about it. But there is nothing. There is nothing in this little boy's life. Even the evening before, everything was fine. The little boy sat with his family. He had cookies. He was nothing was out of the normal. You know, it was it was all. Just what you'd expect. How? 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 You know, I, don't, I just, I genuinely don't get it. You know, I'm looking at the notes and I, I, I'm, I'm shocked. Now, if you want to hear more about this case, if you want me to follow it some more, you know, I've been looking at it since you guys pointed it out to me. And look, I'm shocked. Not There's not a massive amount of coverage on this. And like I say, as it stands at the moment, this has been ruled 
a suicide. This has been ruled as self-inflicted. The little boy done this to himself. Now, if the little boy's done it to himself, first of all, how? How was it even possible? How would he have got himself, like, the, the, the bag over his head, the, the, tying his arms down by his side, throwing his glasses, and, and how the house was left? To me, to me, it seems that sh he was on his own. Someone had been watching that house. They knew that he was on his own. They knew that the rest of the family was out. I believe that someone has forced their way into that property. They have taken him upstairs. Something has happened upstairs. And they have then dressed him in the nearest clothes that was in that room. Remember his underpants found in the parents' room. They probably didn't want to go through the house with the potential of leaving evidence in other places. So they remained in that room. They dressed him in that room in the stepdad's clothing. Got the motorcycle bag. Put that over his head. And then took him to the garden to stage this this suicide that's what i get and i would believe that this is someone who was watching this family they knew about this family and and they knew he was there they knew they had the time they obviously went into the garden the, sw the swing set this is not a little boy who's done this to himself that's in my personal opinion i believe law enforcement have fucked this up and someone is out there and this type of thing the danger is and the worry is that if they get off of this some of this is going to happen again because whoever did this this was premeditated and that little boy he didn't plan this there was no reason for him to do it there was no precursors to it there was nothing that would say that he did it and the manner with which he was found i would say is impossible for him to have done it let me know what you think down below. And like I say, if you want me to keep looking at this case and to bring up more information, let me know and I'll look into it some more. Take care and I'll see you all in the next one.